The Tarantula that I have in this cup costs around $3 depending on where you get it and if you are in US or Europe. And the one that I have in this cup costs more than $600. So let me show you what's the difference. Those of you that are tracking the prices and the species that are available in the hobby probably already know what this tarantula is. At least you have a really really good idea. But first I will show you the three new additions, three new other additions that I got. As you know I have been in Krakow in Poland and there I visited Spiders World EU, at least how can I say it, their operation. But that thing on its own will get entire video because the stuff that I've seen the video will show you everything that you can imagine and that will be out probably in Friday. So now about these additions. The main reason why I went there is because they aren't shipping these species and you can only personally pick them up on Expos or in this case directly for them. So that's the main reason why I went there. But also I picked the other three additions and these were the gifts from a subscriber. Actually a subscriber is Dino and his daughter Zoe. And he said that he wants to gift me some tarantulas. The only thing that he asked if I can name this species Zoe. So we will start from this one. That will in future be known as Zoe. Even though I have this amazing and expensive tarantula, these three are also really nice looking, you will see. Let me just take another cup so I can immediately put it inside. The first one is a dwarf species, I believe. Let me show you. Oh, it looks like it could potentially be bolty, so I need to be careful. Since it is still a sling, there aren't many colors on it, but once it gets bigger, you will see how amazing it can be. And the actual species name, I have it written there, but first I want to... Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Zoe is really active. <laughs> Come on. Please, 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 please. Okay. No, no, don't move. Whenever I see a sling, just running around like that and not stopping. I always get flashbacks from that time when I, when that Samopeo sling escaped and when I accidentally stepped on it. Not that enjoyable. Let me see the species name is Sahidro Araneus Raya. That's the species name. And you will see once it grows and gets the adult coloration, you will see how nice this species is. But I'm not happy how bulky it is. Let's move to these two. These two are both the same and they are called Fembopus cyanognatus. Cyanognateus. Cyagno... Cyanognateus. Fembopus cyagno... A bit tricky. Fembopus cyanognateus. I think I got it now. Two of these, they are also called blue fang. Commonly known blue fang because they have blue fangs. I'm not sure if it shows already because they are slings. But we will see. Hopefully they are more... Oh no, I don't like the way he moves. Oh no, no, also bolty. Come on, little buddy, I don't want to lose you. Slowly, oh, the blue fangs are showing. Oh, oh, it looks so nice. Look at that, we need a zoom action here. Whoa, blue fangs are really showing already. So sweet, they have so many colors, you see, the abdomen is green, fangs are blue, and there is yellow, no, 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 please. But okay, it is not nervous, that's good. Let's see the other one quickly. This one webbed a bit. Please just be, be calm. Now you can't really see that much on the white background. Okay, this one is chilled. Look at it. Tiny sling, but so pretty. You see the white on the legs and shiny green on the abdomen and the fangs are indeed blue. Although this one is hiding them. Go in your enclosure. No, you like my hand? I like how chilled it is. Awesome stuff. And now to show you the, the gem. 
or actually first I will show you the, the species that you can get for around three dollars. This is Lasiodora parahibana and in Europe only three dollars. Really cheap, really easy to get. Well this little guy or actually girl, I definitely hope it is a girl, you can get it for a little bit over, oh my god, so tiny, a little bit over six hundred dollars. It is actually five hundred euros but yeah. Look, it is this tiny thing and I know that it doesn't look that much now, but it's still got nice coloration, even though it is just first mold. I'll try to poke it. But the fact that it costs that much, it makes me so scary about it. So scary owning it. The reason why it actually costs so much is, of course it is a pretty spider. Oh, you really want to go on my hand. It is a really pretty spider. But also, it is completely new in a hobby and you can get it just like that. And when you have something that looks really nice and that everybody would like to have, but you only have extremely limited supply, then the prices are like that. It is all basic economics. But this one indeed looks awesome. The reason why I'm not already amazed so by it now, it's because I already saw the adult females when I was visiting the spider shop. I have that all on the video and I will show you just a tiny clip now so you can see how they look when they are when they grow up and when they are all out and about. They are also dwarf and unique thing about them, they actually make a trapdoor but not just any trapdoor, they make trapdoor on the surface of the wood, I mean on the tree on the surface on the tree and they live inside so they are extremely good to camouflage and they could be all around you and you will never even see them this little guy is really exploring my hand their movement is similar to avicularia i can tell you that but so cute look how those tiny feet go Just and during my trip back, when I had it in the in the backpack, I was so nervous if if it will survive. I mean, you know, slings are fragile, and there is always that chance that it won't survive. But I was really praying that everything will be all right, and thankfully, everything was. And I will make better clips with this guy with macro macro lens that I can put on this camera and it will be one Wednesday update so stay tuned for that and yeah we have a Celadonia now oh did I even I didn't even say the species name it is Tifoglena Celadonia that's the name and I will really like to take the opportunity once again to say thank you to all the patreons thanks to you all of us are able to witness this amazing amazing little tarantula and see how it will grow and all that stuff so once again thank you and also thanks to spiders world eu because they gave me a nice discount on this but more on that and the trip to krakow and everything related the spiders world it will be in next friday's video look forward to it because what they have it's beyond everything i imagine to see it's really crazy darkos collection is like nothing to compare to what they have it was just insane to witness so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel even more there's a patreon page if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe i upload every monday wednesday and friday so see you again soon Bye.